Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh with another tutorial on Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition. In this video, I will work on the Active Directory users and computers. Let's start. First of all, open the Server Manager and click on the Tools menu. From the menu, select Active Directory, Users and Computers. In this video, I will show you how you can create and delete groups, users, and OUs or containers. First of all, let's create a container. To create a container, expand the domain techforall.com or any domain that you have. You have three ways to create an OU. The first method is to right click on the domain name and from the right click menu select new and then select organizational unit. I will create three OUs, one for users, one for groups and one for computers. By default this option is selected, protect container from accidental deletion. If this option is selected, you cannot delete the organizational unit or the container. First, you have to disable this option and then you can delete the container or OU. Click the OK button to create the tech for all computers OU. The second method to create an OU is using this shortcut. Select the domain and click on the shortcut to create the second OU. And the third method to create an OU is to select the domain and right click on an empty space in the right side of the screen. From the right click menu select new and then select organizational unit. Now that I have created the three OUs let's create users. I will create users under the users OU but first I need to create OUs for each and every department. Now that I have created three OUs, one for IT department, one for procurement, and one for marketing department, I will create a specific users inside each OU. The three methods that we used for the creation of OUs apply for creation of users. First method is to select your OU and right click on the OU. From the right click menu, select new and then select user. Provide the first name, last name and full name for the user. When you provide the first name and last name, the full name will be automatically created. Now provide a username for the user. I will use the method of first name dot last name to create the user for all my clients. Click the next button. Now provide a password for the user. There are four options which you can select under the password. If you select the first option, the user needs to change the password at next login. If you select the second option, the user will not be able to change the password. If you select the third option, the password will never expire. And if you select the fourth option, the account will be created, but it will be disabled and the user cannot sign into the domain. I want my users so that they cannot change the password and their password never expires. Click the next button and click on the finish button to create the user. The second method of user creation is to select the OU and right click in an empty space on the right side of your screen. From the right click menu, select new and then select user. Provide the details. Click the next button. Now provide a password for the user. Click the next button and click the finish button to create the user. Third method of user creation is to click on the shortcut. Now I will create few users for procurement department and for marketing department.
if you have accidentally created a user in a wrong OU, you can drag and drop it and send it to the respected or right OU. It will ask you for the confirmation. Click yes button to move the user. Now let's create group for IT, procurement and marketing departments. I will create the groups under the tech for all groups OU. The same three method of creation applies to the groups too. After you have entered the group name, from the group scope you have three options, domain local, global and universal. If you have multiple domains and you want this specific group to be only in this domain, you have to select the domain local. If you have multiple domains and you want this group to be in multiple domains, you have to choose global. And if you have a forest and you have multiple domains under the forest and you want to use the IT department inside the forest, then you can choose universal. From the group type, you have two options. The first one is security and the second one is distribution. You can use the security for applying some specific settings to the group and you can use the distribution group type to send emails to all the members inside the group. I will go with the global and with the security group type. Click the OK button to create this group. Now that you have created the users, let me show you how you can assign each and a specific user to a group. There are two methods. The first method is to right click on the group and select properties from the right click menu. Click on the members tab, click on the add button, enter the username which belongs to IT department. Click the check name button to find the user and click the OK button to add the user. Now, Saifdin Ghanizada is part of the IT department. Click OK button to save the configuration. The second method is to select the user, right click on the user's name, and select properties from the right click menu. Click on the member of tab, click on the add button, and here you need to write the group name. Click on the check names to find the group and click on the OK button. Now, Alayar Joinda is part of the IT department's group. Click the OK button to save the configuration. Now, let's delete a specific user, a specific group, and a specific OU. To delete a specific user, select the user, right click on the user, and select delete from the right click menu. You will be prompt whether you want to delete the user or not. Click yes button to delete the user. The second way to delete a user is to select the user and click on this icon which is the shortcut of delete. Click yes button to delete the user. And the third method to delete a user is to select the user and press delete from your keyboard and then select yes to delete the user. Now let's delete a group. The same three method that we deleted a user applies on deleting a group too. Select the group and click on the delete shortcut. Click yes button to delete the group. If you want to delete an OU, select the OU and then right click on the OU. Select delete from the right click menu Click on Yes button to delete the OU, but the OU will not be deleted. If you noticed at the beginning of the video, I told that if the option of prevent accidental deletion is selected, so I will not be able to delete the user. Now I need to uncheck the box of prevent accidental deletion and then delete the OU. Click on the View button and then click on the Advanced Features. Now select the OU. Right click on the OU and select properties from the right click menu. Go to the object tab and check this box. Protect object from accidental deletion. Click on the apply button and then click on OK. Now I can delete the procurement department OU. Click on the delete button to delete this OU. Click yes to confirm your action. 
Here it says that the container or OU of procurement department contains objects inside it. That's okay. Click yes button to delete it. Now the OU is deleted. And that's all for today. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will catch you very soon with another video. Till then, have a nice time.